Robert French, French's farm. It's uh, November the 11th. We're here. 7th. It's November the 7th. And uh, we've already had a, a 32 degree freeze. And it's just right at the frost. As you can see, the moringa is still nice and green. And, um, it's been, it's been uh, uh, five months and one day since it was sown. And uh, this is the moringa that's growing in the poorer soil. I've got some over there that's 13 feet tall, which I dug up some of that. And we'll see that in a minute. Um, this area here, I'm going to uh, cut these to the ground. Then I'm going to uh, work on about a foot of straw to cover them. And then I'll cover the straw with uh, the uh, uh, moringa and some wood chips to keep it from blowing away and break the stems. Now this is what I do. I, I just uh, harvest things like this. Henry, is it going to hurt that your shadow's in the way? You should just stand over there and hope that it's not in the sun. Uh, so, uh, I just uh, put these into a pile. I don't need to do this. I could just walk around and uh, put them straight into my harvest bucket. But this bucket is what makes all the difference. This, this, this makes uh, uh, the moringa uh, harvesting a pleasure. I use this for grapes and, and uh, apples and, and persimmons. Uh, it's a five gallon uh, harvest bucket. It's got these straps. It's very comfortable. And I found out that it's absolutely ideal for harvesting moringa. This is one of the most pleasant activities that I ever do on this farm. This is absolutely effortless. It, these leaves separate from here just like God intended them to be picked like this. That they, uh, they have absolutely no resistance. There's no tension in my body at all. This is a very relaxing, very therapeutic thing. I could do this for hours without any fatigue. And um, uh, you can get a lot of uh, pounds of moringa leaves. It takes uh, four pounds of green moringa leaves to make one pound of dried moringa. And it takes uh, 100 grams of moringa to equal the calcium of four glasses of milk. The average uh, person needs 1,000 milligrams of calcium per day. A woman over 50 needs 1,300 gram, milligrams of calcium. I meant milligrams. And uh, a teenager needs 1,300 milligrams, but everybody else needs 1,000 milligrams of calcium per day. Now, one glass of uh, milk has 280 milligrams of calcium, but it's only 30% uh, bioavailable. The calcium in Moringa is 50% bioavailable, so uh, you actually get more calcium out of that out of that Moringa than you would out of the milk. So uh, I will I will take these leaves and I will stuff them into one gallon freezer bags and put them in my freezer, and each. Uh, each freezer bag will weigh 600 grams. I weighed them on a double beam scale. And uh, so each bag will last me two days and that will give me plenty of calcium uh, to keep my bones nice and strong. Now you get the idea of what I'm doing. This is very easy, very pleasant work. Oh, and by the way, the Moringa doesn't make me uh, nauseous anymore. I was That was just eating Chinese chestnuts and they were uh, creating a, a bit of a sediment in my stomach and that was in the pit of my stomach. But now I take the moringa, I eat it with cow peas, I, I, uh, I cook the cow peas over the stove and I uh, uh, take the uh, cooked cow peas, I grate some ginger over it and then I just take a good handful of moringa about like that and I mix it in with the cow peas and I eat it and that just makes me feel very very powerful and strong. I can eat the moringa uh, with sweet potato, not with sweet potatoes in the same meal but I can certainly eat it the same day as sweet potatoes. Now I'm going to show you how easy this stuff is. It's very soft, it's very easy to cut. So 
this is how I'm going to winter it. This is how I'm going to do this moringa this winter. I'm going to go ahead and cut it about an inch or two above the ground. And then I'm going to take uh, this straw and I'm going to cover it and we're going to come back in the spring and we're going to see in, in the month of May we're going to see if these things shoot back up from the ground. Now, if that doesn't work, I've dug some up. And we'll go and see what it looks like and how I'm uh, uh, preserving it over the winter. But uh, I'll just take that. And uh, this is just old hay. You get it uh, in places that sell hay. They'll have it. It's the old rotten hay. And I just cover those things up with a foot of it. They got a bale of it here. They had a rotten bale of it. I'll open that up. But uh, this has the best thermal properties and uh, it works much better than leaves or anything else. And I can get just about as much of it as I want. I'll take that and build it up like that, about a foot thick. And I don't see any reason at all. Well, if I build that up thick enough that those won't survive the, uh, the winter and come right back up in the spring. But just in case they don't, we'll go over here to my cooler, which I've got uh, set at 55 degrees. These coolers are ideal for growing mushrooms because they're so humid. All you have to do is go in there and spray a little water Make sure they don't get too cold. And uh, that's why I've got my flashlight on so you can see in there. But uh, this is one that I just dug up. Mm -hmm. Get this off. This is one I just dug up. This is what they look like when they've just been dug up. You see that? I'll take it in there and uh, put it in there like that. And these are arborists wood chips and there's a little bit of water in here just to get it cool and wet. And then I will take that, mix up some water. You might not be able to see it, but there's just a little bit of water in the bottom of this yard cart. And I'll take that and I'll cover those roots. And moringa will stay dormant as long as it stays below about 55 degrees. It'll stay dormant all winter long. And uh, these should be fine to plant in the springtime if those don't uh, survive. Like I say, this is the first time I've ever tried this in North Carolina. So we're just going to fill this bin up with that. And I can still have enough room to grow mushrooms in there. Uh, and you want to take a, a look at how I've got this cooler